So hello guys, welcome to Control Command Continue and welcome to a Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn update. Now it's been a long time since I have done one of these, mainly due to the NDE in place. I've erred on the side of caution and decided not to do any, but today Square Enix released the release date for A Realm Reborn, which is August 27th of this year. So a summer release, end of summer but summer nonetheless. Now Square Enix have also opened up a site where you can pre-order. Now there are a few perks to pre-ordering, they have released all the information on this and stuff. As a kind of pre-order incentive you will be granted early access, so you'll gain access to Realm Reborn before the game actually launches and you get two in-game items, a Kate Sith doll, minion, they're like the little pets that follow you, I think, and a mog cap. It just it just says you can wear the Moogle cap from level one and can be equipped by all classes. It doesn't really say if it has any perks or not. I'm sure it will, I think. With the 1.0 you got to wear the Onion Helm cap, I remember. I got that with the collector's edition and it had like it was like a, it was kinda rubbish actually, it was like <laughs> If you die, it takes half the length for your stats to come back to normal or something like that. I can't really remember. But yeah, so that is what you get by pre-ordering. Now, but they also released a lot of information on the Collector's Edition. Now, there's two versions of the Collector's Edition. There's the digital download and the actual, like, physical package. So it will go over the physical items that are in the collector's edition, the physical package, and then I'll look at the the in-game items that you get. So with the physical package of the collector's edition, you get an exclusive box which has artwork from Yoshitaka Amano. You get an art book called The Art of Eorzea, A Realm Reimagined. So I'm guessing it's the art book from I'm guessing it should be different places in Eorzea. I don't know if it's just the CG or not, that's not really clear if it's actually hand drawn. I'd really like it if it had hand drawn illustrations of like characters coming together and stuff. I, I really like hand art books with hand drawn things. You get a lot of art books that are kind of cheap and it's like a really, it's just all CG stuff. I, th I had, I've got an art book somewhere and for an hour game and it's just CG artwork. And that's, I don't like, that's kind of rubbish. I like when you see the actual original illustrations and how they came to the final kind of character or place or whatever, I really like the hand drawn stuff. Bonus 3, where am I? Uh, a 7th Umbral Era special movie contact disc, The Waning of the Sixth Sun. Yeah, so basically it's like a DVD that shows you how the last game ended, basically. I'm guessing it will be like... If you if you ever played Shenmue 2 for the Xbox, you get a wee disc, like a movie disc of Shenmue 1. I think it'll be like that, so it'll be like a movie version of 1.0, maybe? I don't really know, I'm, I'm guessing it's something like that. You also get a soundtrack disc, I'm guessing it'll be like, I don't think it'll be the full soundtrack, I'd imagine it'll be like certain songs that have been picked by the developers or whatever. An art card set, so you get five art cards, and you get a security token. Now, in-game items that you get with the collector's edition, and you also get these if the digital download, I'd imagine, is you get a Helm of Light, which kind of looks like the Warrior Light's Helm from Final Fantasy 1. You get a Cool Mount, which looks pretty beast. Uh, you get Behemoth Barding, I'm guessing that's for your Chocobo. That looks pretty sweet, by the way. And a Baby Behemoth Minion. Same again, I, I, it's not really going into detail if like the headgear has any bonuses, it's just saying it can be clipped by all classes at level 1. Yeah, so that's the in-game items, as I said, there's not really clear if... Uh, they probably won't have really any bonuses, I'm guessing it will all be just to look cool. But Square Enix has also put in a disclaimer, and they have said if you own the 1.0 Collector's Edition, all the digital in-game items will be delivered to you through the little Moogle post guy. 
so he'll have your stuff. So, like myself, I have the 1.0 Collector's Edition, so I'll get the in-game stuff. I don't think I'll get the pre-order stuff, I do get the, in the in-game digital items. Also, because I have the Legacy status, I also get the Early Access. I think I might get the PS3 Collector's Edition, not the physical one, but for whatever reason, the pricing isn't on the EU site yet, for some reason, but I can give you the American prices of all the different versions. You can get the PlayStation 3 Collector's Edition, the full package with all the physical items and all that cool stuff, for $79.99. The Windows equivalent, the full package, is $69.99. So that's in dollars. And you can also get the Windows digital download of the Collector's Edition, which is $49.99. But obviously you don't get all the, the cool physical stuff like the artwork, the CD and stuff like that. Now the standard PS3 game is only $39.99 and now I don't know if this is a mistake or not <laughs> but the Windows package, the, just the regular game, is $29.99 but the digital downloads $29.99 as well so it's the same price to either download it or buy it with the box. I, I thought downloading it would maybe be cheaper but there you go. But it also says the PlayStation 3 digital download, they don't have the information on that yet, that will be available like at a later date. So guys, I just wanted to throw out that quick update. Let me know what version you're going to buy. Are you going PS3, PC, you get in the collector's edition. If you're in America now, you can pre-order the physical edition, but currently I can't seem to find a link to pre-order your physical EU edition. For whatever reason, here in UK, the digital version is only available to pre-order. But I'm guessing at a later date you can either pre-order it, it'll come out, you know, or we'll need to go to like the shop. <laughs> I'll go down to game and, you know, pre-order it or something. And I do apologise to the guys who have stayed with the channel for Final Fantasy XIV stuff. I know it's been a while, but here we go, that's that's that. This is for you then. And yeah, when it comes out, I'll probably do an unboxing on it. And when the game comes out, ND is dropped and all that stuff, you can look forward to some videos as well. So guys, thanks for joining me. And I will see you all in a Realm Reborn. Take care.